What's everybody? It is Jason. It, it, it is the Body Beast vlog. Hello, fellow beasts. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about something very important, equipment. You need equipment for this program. And I'm going to tell you what I use that I have found success with and some alternatives that you can consider when you're looking into doing Body Beast. But first and foremost, I want you to take a look at something. All right. See this? You see this, guys? What do you think that's from? A pretty mean upper body workout maybe, right? Yeah? Maybe some abs? Something like that? No. Legs. Bulk legs. I just finished my second bulk legs in this middle phase of the program. And this is one of the meanest leg routines you will ever do. It is a burner. Ugh. My thighs are like tree trunks right now. Well, they don't look like tree trunks, but they feel like tree trunks. And that's the important thing, because that's how you know that stuff is happening. So anyway, just to show you, you can get a crazy, insane workout without doing anything here on the upper body. It's all about the legs. You have to keep everything equal, or else you're going to fall over. All right, on to today's topic, equipment. So I'm going to talk about the stuff that I have used that I recommend for this program. Um, and it basically amounts to four things. First of all, we have a mat. Um, I'm not gonna pan down and show you. It's just a regular, say, an athletic workout mat. It, um, this one is about, um, maybe about half an inch thick. And it consists of six puzzle pieces, about two feet by two feet, that just lock together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I got this on Amazon. They're really cheap and they just serve as a good surface for whatever you're doing, whether it's bench work or on your feet or whatever. I actually do this in my basement. As you know, my home gym is in my basement. I have a carpeted basement and I put the mat on top of the carpet. It protects the carpet from the bench and the weights, so highly rec recommend a mat. Uh, the second thing is a bench or a stability ball. I have a bench. I use this guy right here. It is an adjustable bench. It has a one, two, three, four, five different settings, including flat down. There's a padded cushion on top. And I love it. It's simple. There are no frills, but it allows me to do everything that this program re requires from, you know, bench presses all the way on your back to incline stuff to just balance when you're doing certain standing exercises, like today was calf raises, and you can hold on to the edge of the uh, bench. I find this to be very, very helpful if you don't have a bench or if you're not going to get a bench. Uh, and by the way, I got this um, from uh, a buddy, actually, so I got it for you know very cheap, for about 20 bucks. You, you can find these for for very, very, in, uh, you can find these very inexpensively all the way up to, you know, just like, like anything else, you can pay a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars for uh, you know a super duper bench that can you know make you toast in the morning and blast you off into, into space. But this one's pretty inexpensive. Does exactly what I need. You can also use a stability ball, but just keep in mind that if you use a stability ball, you're not going to be able to lift as heavy, and that's okay because for a lot of these exercises, if you focus on form and really concentrate on the muscle group that, that, that you're working, you don't need crazy heavy weights. But just know that uh, if you do, you know, let's let's say you use 30s for an exercise with the bench. With the stability ball, you might have to use 25s or 20s. Just know that you might have to take, take it down a little notch because the ball is going to be rolling all over the place and you have to use your core a little bit more to stabilize. Um, the third thing, which is, uh, you know, easily the most important, in my opinion, of course, adjustable dumbbells. I have power blocks. I can't say enough about power blocks. I love, love, love my power blocks. Um, I'm actually going to be upgrading soon, which is pretty exciting. I currently have some uh, classic 50s, that means it goes up from 5 pounds all the way to 50 pounds per arm. Um, easily adjustable. Uh, other brands are uh, Bowflex, Selectex, um, and there, there are some other ones as well. Um, I started off, when I, was, when I originally started off my, my fitness journey, I started off with adjustable screw lock dumbbells that were very inexpensive. Uh, power blocks are, are, are more expensive, um, but the adjustable ones, I got a set of uh, I think it was going up to I think 20 pounds in each hand, and um, it was like $40 total at you know Dick Sporting Goods or, or whatever your local sporting goods store is. So um, you just kind of have to find where where you stand. But I recommend um, at least going up to 50s with an adjustable dumbbell set. And then finally, another really important thing is this guy over here. 
the Easy Curl Bar. And as you can see, it is a barbell with little, little uh, hand, hand divots right there. So for easier curls, it's more ergonomic. And there are a, a bunch of different exercises in Body Beast where Siggy recommends using the Easy Curl Bar. Again, this is another option. For, as an alternative to this, you can just use your adjustable dumbbells and you will still experience results undoubtedly. But this is something that, um, one, if you want to do it exactly like how they do it on the video, you got to get the easy curl bar. And two, it's just going to be easier. Still out of breath from the workout. You've got to love it. Um, it's it's going to make some of the exercises um, a little easier or, or just allow you to recruit strength from different muscles just by virtue of the fact that it is a barbell as opposed to a dumbbell. So um, I, I recommend that as well. That's another cheap one. Um, you do have to get weights to go with it and weights depending on where you get them from add up. I got mine again from a buddy. So I think um, I have, I have uh, for each side of my easy curl bar, I have a 25, a 10, one, two, three, four fives, and I have a couple 2.5s as well. And um, I found that to be great for my purposes for right now. I'm going to have to go up at some point, but for right now, that's exactly what I need. So those are the four main things that I use for Body Beast as far as equipment. Um, let me know what uh, your experience has been. If you've used any of the alternatives or if you have any other ideas, please post in, in the comments. And I'm going to go uh, make a big old shake and rest my legs a little bit. Have a good day, guys. Bye.